So, what about you? Has someone you fear, respected, or even loved ever denied your salvation as a child? Or even maybe as an adult? Maybe you don't even remember it. But you may be just carrying a hurt. I hurt. Maybe I don't even know who hurt me. It's that deeply buried in me. But it needs to be brought out. And Jesus can help you do that. I'll talk more about that in a minute. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't deny Jesus. Don't have trouble deciding which color socks to put on in the morning. Or in the case of women, to put one on and not on, the, on one leg and not on the other. However those stockings go now, I don't know. Don't be on the fence. Decide black or white. Matthew 6, 8 to 15. I want to talk a little bit about forgiveness. If you want to go there. And this is where Jesus is teaching his followers the Lord's Prayer, his, uh, how to pray. And he says, do not be like them, the other people in the world. For your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. So if you're hurting, ask Him to help you with this. Don't allow this hurt that you have continue to block your full embracing of Jesus. Or your loved ones, for that matter. And so he says, pray this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. In other words, I'm inviting you, Lord, to bring your kingdom into my life. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Folks, the Word of God is our daily bread. This is Jesus. This is the Word that we eat and take in daily as our bread, our spiritual bread. Verse 12, And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Or, in the King James, forgive us our trespasses as those who trespass against us. Now, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, I, I thought about this. It hit me. What do we mean, forgive us our debts? Well, a debt is when I owe somebody something. And maybe I have hurt you. I need to ask God, as well as you, but I need to ask God first to forgive me for that hurt that I've caused somebody else. A trespass is where you go into territory that the owner of that territory has not given you permission to go into. That's trespassing. I kind of like that better than debts. But it, it, it's the same idea. It's the same idea. As we forgive those who trespass against us, as we forgive our debtors, Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I would encourage you, the next time you go into the Word and read this in Matthew, really break it apart and look at the meaning of these words. It's not just something that I'm trying to understand. Literally, you know, the way we recite this thing, as I have done numerous times, Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> I want to do it right. I want to really understand your word. I really want your daily bread to nourish me. But that wasn't where Jesus stopped. We often stop there because that's how we've been taught to pray. But he goes on to say in verse 14, If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. 
That's good news. That is really good news. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive yours. In other words, if you have not asked God to forgive you, you're blocking his getting into you and helping you forgive others. I mean, you have to forgive others first. Excuse me, I got that kind of backwards. I want to be forgiven, but I have things with other people that I have not forgiven. So God is blocked. I have, it's not that he's not able to reach me. I won't let him reach me because I haven't forgiven others. Get that straight. That is so important. That's really important. And I began to make progress then after I'd forgiven my mother. I began to look at some of the other. Well, there was a couple of horrors in there, but other bad things in my life. I'll just leave it at that. I was able to start forgiving others. And now I feel like, except for those daily things where I say something that makes my wife go out, or I say something stupid to the pastor on the phone, or to Stacy, maybe I call up the inn or something, or whatever it might be. Um, whatever it might be, Cindy, in the hallway, you know, rah, rah, like that. I, I, I have done something that I need to get forgiveness for. So if you need to forgive somebody, a mother, your father, other family or friends, anyone, I want you to come down here now and forgive. And I'm going to ask Rusty to come and put in a little music. Finally, I would like to go to Luke 11. Verse 28. I'm sorry. Matthew 11. I had that written down. Yeah. Matthew 11. Excuse me. Verse 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Heavy laden means carrying a weight on your shoulders. I will give you rest. Now, how do you rest if you've got a weight on your shoulders? He takes it off of your shoulders and lays it down. And you, oh, whew, I can breathe, I can stand up, I can see daylight again. <coughs> Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Now, most people think of a yoke as something really, a, a big heavy collar that they put on an ox or a horse or a cow or something like that. But in this case, we're talking about something a little different. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My burden is light. If you have a burden, or if you have a hurt that you need to deal with, come down now and let God forgive you. If you have said something to somebody or just thought something that you need to clear out of your spiritual or thought life, come down here now and ask God to do it. It's a brave thing to do, I know. But it needs to be done. Don't go around the rest of your life with one black sock and one white sock. Decide what you've got on that you want to wear. Come. Let Jesus lift it from your back, from your soul. I was abused by somebody. I forgive them. Maybe someday I'll have the ability to go to that person and tell them in person that I forgive them. But for right now, Lord, I forgive them.
The important thing is for me to get right with you, Jesus. That's the important thing right now. Thank you, God, for telling us how to do that. Hallelujah.